Good morning, all. Well, wow. good morning, strangers. Well, let's say I'm the stranger out of all of this. It's been a long time, I know, and I do apologise. Just letting you guys know that I'm still kicking. Uh, yeah, well, where do I start? It's been weeks, hasn't it, since I last did a vlog with you guys. Um, well, yeah, like so about four or five weeks ago, I was going in for my last chemo. It didn't happen. I spoke with my doctor and I said, like, I can't, can't do this. I was in so much pain. I was in just absolute... I never realised it was going to hit me so hard. You know, my fingernails were about to fall off and obviously no hair. I'm still not growing back yet. So the chemo is still, still in my system. It's like four or five weeks ago I had my last session and um, I did five out of six, which I thought was quite radical, actually. I think at the end of the day, I think the doctor was quite surprised I got that far with it, to be honest. I didn't realise that... Um, I was going to get so ill, it was really, it was grim. And it's sort of taken me this time to sort of come around and then talk to you guys again, you know. But uh, no, I'm in, I'm in really good spirits. Um, so that's it now, no more chemo, no nothing anymore. It's down to me to save myself. Uh, I got a letter through yesterday, going to put me in for a CT scan in about five or six weeks, which is great. So I discussed with the doctor, I wanted to know where we were going to go next with this, because obviously you know, it's not going to call it a day, we must try and do something else. And um, he was talking something about steroids, which I've got to discuss with him anyway, because I'm not very keen on steroids. But the other thing he did discuss with me, which I thought was very interesting, in the Royal Marsden in, um, in London and in Chelsea, was um, um, experimental drugs, um, which we talked about. So let's have, a look at, let's have a look at my CT scan first, and we'll take it from there. But experimental drugs, what did it say on the letter? One second. Uh, uh. Morning. I'll say good morning. All right, nice smudgy. There's my little friend that uh, sits with me. I need my glasses even for this guy. Oh my god. What did he say on this letter? He said, la la la. I discussed the case with Dr. Kima. Okay, well, we suggested a referral to the clinical trials unit to plan ahead. Uh, future management uh, options. Uh, I've discussed with Mr. Simpkins and agreed that we will first review the CT scan and we'll take it from there. So there you go. So basically, and they're going to put me on some, try and find some drug, that, you know, a test drug. And I asked for the app on the TV the other day. There's some guy there on there, like, did all these cancer ads and that. And um, he was on the TV and he'd say that he had, he had some severe pancreatic cancer and um, he was on these test drugs and he's been alive for another eight years. So that's, um, that's sort of... Um, Exciting to see that when you see the adverts on the TV, but um, but no, yeah, it's been a while, isn't it? Uh, with all this COVID and that going on, it's like mental, really. It's obviously, I've always been um, sort of a recluse since I've had my illness anyway in my caravan at the bottom of the garden, as you know. But um, now it's really got quite intense, isn't it? It's like I um, can't really go anywhere anymore um, and do anything, um, which is okay with me within retrospect, but it can get a bit tedious and poor Joey's not well either poor lady she's just had some new meds and hopefully they'll kick in soon and get her off of her she's, uh, she's very depressed very down and very sad um which doesn't help the family obviously but um and the poxy weather but I just said into a to a tv addict I think I could even recite the freaking adverts <laughs> I end up flicking the channels over when the adverts are on but the thing is all the tv shows and I seem to have the same adverts on at the same time so it's really annoying uh but um but yeah yeah, this chemo is taking so long to come out of my system. I thought it would start coming out by now, but that's another thing, my lethargy and that. Like, as you can see, I'm, I'm sitting talking at half one in the morning. And my sleep pattern is a case of like sort of two, three hour stints. And that's it. Um, St. Catharines have been really good. They're going to try and get me on some painkillers. I take painkillers every day before hours, oxycodines. And I've been on them for like a couple of years now. And I think it's down to my stomach. I might be addicted to them anyway, but even so, they're very good for me. I do like them. But she's got a new drug, which is oxycodine again. But 20 milligrams instead of 10, so be t every 12 hours I take one instead of sort of one every four. Because I think that's what wakes me up in the night. I think I wake up in pain and I need to take another pill, but so that's what's waking me up a lot, I think. So these are sort of three hour, two hour stints all the time. And there's, sort of no, there's no real night and day for me anymore. It's quite odd. Um, I just sort of go with the flow. Um, but uh, but yeah, they've been really good St. Catharines. Like I go to the pharmacy now I go to the, the, and pick up um, a protein shakes, which, they, which they've given me. And they are absolutely amazing. I mean, they're amazing. If you look online, if you go on to, to, to Amazon, a, a pack of four, it's a tenner. And I get like sort of a hundred at a time. They give me this great, I picked them up yesterday. It's like, and it's a repeat prescription now. So every time I run out of these protein shakes, because obviously my appetite was in such a bad way that I couldn't take solids in me. So they're so, ha they're so handy to have. I take one, I drink one every morning with, with my Complan just to start off my food intake. I've got some sushi today, actually. I got some sushi yesterday, so that's nice for lunch later. 
which is nice. But um, but yeah, with this COVID, it's pretty crap. But uh, sort of go with the flow, I suppose, and get get through it all. To, get through it all. But um, I'm feeling good, and I'm glad I've said hi to you guys. It's been a long time. I do apologise for the length that I've not been on here, but um, I've just been getting stronger and getting away from this horrible, uh, horrible chemo. But uh, we'll get there in the end, and uh, yeah. Lots of love to you all, guys. And yeah, well, I hope you're keeping well and you're all sort of cracking on with what life we've got at the moment. It's a little bit grim, isn't it? But no, big love to you all. And uh, I'll speak again soon, I promise. Take care. Bye.